All right, got my Ed Fong J pole connected to uh, Kenwood here. I'll let you take a look. It's very precariously set up. I'm just leaning. Here. I'd say it's a good 20 feet up. And I'm gonna set this to. You can see right there. It says E L which is extra low power. That's, uh, that's 0 0.05, that's 50 milliwatts. And I'm gonna test it now. The repeater is about 45 miles away, okay? Alpha Delta 6 Delta Mike, radio check. So obviously I'm able to trip the repeater just, uh, I guess no one's on, but I'm able to hit 45 miles away on 50 milliwatts. AD6DM, radio check clear. Alright, let's try it now on the back of Valley Repeater, see if anyone comes back, because again, it's still on, uh, you see there, EL, which is extra low power. Alpha Delta 6, Delta Mike, radio check. It's a thing with two meters these days, no one wants to reply. Huh. AD6DM clear. Try a different one. one that normally has people on it. Let's try Modesto. AD6 DM, radio check. Oh, I guess I didn't reach that one. Let's go back. AD6 DM, radio check. which is one watt. Thanks for the comeback there. I was testing on 50 milliwatts with a roll-up J-pole. I just bumped up the power to one watt here. How's that sound? First of all, 15 milliwatts, that's pretty darn amazing. But uh, yeah, one watt, definitely a lot better. Comes in pretty clear. Little tiny bit of scratch, but not bad. Excellent. Uh, thanks for coming back and confirming for me. I'm here in Stockton, California. Uh, I believe this repeater is in Tracy, so uh, good distance off of this uh, roll-up J-pole. I got it here on a uh, on a mast about 20 feet up. Well, I guess he's done. Anyway, one watt. Uh, Tracy, I would guess, is about uh, 25 miles. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, once again, there it is. And, uh, one watt, but I made it on 50 milliwatts and was readable. Alright, so I broke it down. This is the extension cable. It's actually two of them. Um, you can see here. Rolls up really nice. I think each of those is six feet. Uh, move that in there. And uh, here's the roll-up J-pole. Doesn't really stay put. Yeah, I guess I got to zip tie it or something, or not zip tie it, but get one of those twists. So Ed Fong, I actually met the creator of this design, gave me this cool tactical bag waterproof really awesome to put my little j pole in <laughs> so it all breaks down pretty nice 
The only thing, just like with any other wire antenna, is that you need to get some height on it for it to be really effective. But it's supposedly a 8 to 10 dB gain over normal rubber duck usage. So here we go. Headphone roll up J-Pole. 